All right, let's do the next one. Temperature is given as 122, the pressure is 10,000. So I know two things, I can look up the state. I'm gonna start, I think, with 10,000 only because it's an even number and I know I can find it exactly on the chart. This is the saturation chart. This column is in temperature. This is in pressure, which is kind of real numbers. If I flip over, I can find them as the integer values. So 10,000 kPa is going to be on the second page. Uh, right there it is, right there, 10,000 kPa. So if I look, for me to be saturated, the temperature is given as 122. So it's not 122 listed on the table, it's 311. So I know that this is cooler, the state that's given, 10,000 kPa, 122 is cooler than a saturated liquid. It's to the left of the saturated liquid side. So it must be a compressed liquid. So I'm gonna flip over, superheated, superheated. Here's the compressed liquid table here, table A7. So let's see, 10,000 kPa is right here. It's a megapascal. And if I look at this line, uh, 122, yeah, it's gonna be right in there somewhere. So right away, I can write down that this is a compressed liquid. I also know then the quality, which is not applicable because in the compressed liquid side. So I need the H value. Well, this is gonna be an interpolation of this chart. So at 100, I'm going to interpolate right here between 120 and 140 at this 10 megapascal. So I'm going to set up a little chart here where I've got temperature in degrees C, and I've got 120, 122, and 140. And here I've got an H value of five, whoops, an H value. This is supposed to be H here. H at kilojoules per kilogram. That's uh, 5, 10, 73, and 595.45. Five, and I want to know what that H value is right there. So I can use this little pattern that uh, I have written out here to solve for this H value. So the H value is going to be equal to 120 minus 122 times 595.45 plus 122 minus 140 times 510.73, all divided by the difference, 120 minus 140. You can see these are going to be negative, negative. Don't worry about that. It's all going to work out in the end. You can also see that this is in degrees Celsius, degrees Celsius. This is in units of kilojoules per kilogram, kilojoules per kilogram. This is in degrees Celsius. So you can see that the Celsius are all going to cancel and you're going to be left with kilojoules per kilogram. If you do this math, you should come up with an H value that's equal to 519.202 kilojoules per kilogram. All right, so that's how you do that one.